Guys, thanks so much for joining us and taking us on this flight. Oh, thanks for having us. Thank you for having us. All right, Wayne, our first stop is going to be the year 2000. Your first memory of Lavernius Coles. Uh, I saw him, you know, look, look right away like he had a little bit of a chip on his shoulder. He wasn't talking to many people. Uh, I, so right away, though, I said, I, I like this guy. Uh, and I know he had a different kind of a memory the first time he saw me. Well, the first time I saw Wayne, I was, you know, I had heard the, the big name Wayne Corbett. You know, he was a great wide receiver in the NFL. But again, I walked in the locker room and I took a look and I was like, man, is that Wayne? That's Wayne Corbett? <laughs> and then I was like, man, let me call my mom. I called my mom and I was like, I'll be starting in a week. <laughs> what boy was I wrong? <laughs> <laughs> first and first impressions, but we got we got along right from the start, man. He had he had a hell of a, a, a first year to start out. There's a rule coming in that I don't care where you're from, you can't wear sleeves for a game. <laughs> no, my receivers can't wear sleeves, and he wasn't all about that, but he did. <laughs> Who made this rule up? I did. <laughs> That's part of the fun, you know, going back and forth like that, just busting, busting each other's chops, you know? Me and Santana being two Florida boys kept going to New York, Santana Moss. And then uh, we getting there, Wayne telling us not to wear sleeves. We both looking at him like, buddy, this ain't it from Florida. We, it is cold up here. But Wayne told me one time, he said, just come out with me and look at how the other guys look at us when we come out with no sleeves on. I got to see how they were breaking, looking at it. They wasn't even warming up because they were looking at us like, man, these guys got to be crazy not wearing sleeves <laughs> out here. And so it just changed the whole mental game for me. So when did you guys know, like, you guys, when did you guys become kind of like best buds, you know, co-pilots? Wayne don't probably remember this, but I used to go to the mall all the time. And of course, everybody knows my story. When I came out of school, I got in a lot of trouble. So now all the guys had these Louis Vuitton bags and I always wanted one, just wanted one. But then I went to the mall and I saw what it cost. And I was like, I'm not paying that for those bags. And so what I would do is go look all the time. Just go look at the bags, go look at the bag. And I tell Wayne, I'm going to look at the bag. And I showed up, Wayne walked with me and Wayne was like, man, I'm tired of you coming to look at this bag. Just get the bag. And so he ended up buying the bag for me. Do you remember that? Yeah, no, I remember. He just keeps looking at this bag. I'm like, come on, man. Just, I finally just bought it for him. <laughs> you know, just something, you know, a small token. It just meant so much to him. Lavernia says for some, you trusted him, especially when he was coming out of college all this. Why did you trust him? I just did. The way he came in, the way he carried himself, you know, he wasn't arrogant. He was quiet, but uh, I just liked his work ethic, willing to work hard. And, you know, then you step away from the field. You go out to dinner and then I met his family and then it's just like, wow, this is this can be a friend for life. What does your mom think of him, Lavernius? <laughs> mom loved him just as much as I do. I mean, it's just it's one of those things, you know, I grew up in a household without a father figure. So when you find that that like a surrogate father I found when I got to the to the NFL and Wayne doesn't know it, but he was my Michael Jordan. You know, they talk about how some people make other guys better. He did that for me. He made me want to go across the middle and take the big hit and not be afraid to, to take it because, and then block for each other and then genuinely be happy that the other person is having success. And one of my most proud moments is seeing his name go up in the rafters. And I told him that day, I said, believe it or not, man, I'm more excited about this than you are because I feel like my name is going up there right along with yours. Well guys, I appreciate both of you guys flying this first flight down memory lane. You guys were awesome co-pilots. Before I end, you guys have seen Top Gun, right? Yeah. Yes. Who's Maverick? Who's Goose? Yeah. <laughs> I'm Maverick. I'm the older guy. <laughs> well, I'm Goose. <laughs> you know Goose dies, right? That's okay for you, oh. buddy. I'm <laughs> well, we're making our own new, our own ending. <laughs> it's okay for you. I'll take it, man. I love no, you, man. No. Love you, buddy. Love you too, I have man. Have a good one.